While we're all sitting around waiting to fill our sockets with new AMD Zen 3 CPUs, there's a lot of good questions coming out around whether or not the NVIDIA 30 series CPUs will work on PCI Express 3.0 and if you'll get full performance. The quick answer is yes. There's a lot of people that have already tested this. Unfortunately, my 3080 and 3090 cards won't be arriving anytime soon. There are a lot of people that have already shown the testing of the 3080 cards on PCI Express 3 results in very similar performance to PCI 4. Now you can't really compare apples to apples right now uh, because there is not an Intel CPU running on PCI Express 4. But that being said, we know that the performance difference is very minimal. But the more important question you should be asking yourself is whether or not you should be buying a PCI Express 3.0 platform today. One of the unfortunate things going for Intel right now is that the 10900K being their flagship best gaming CPU, still running on PCI Express 3.0. Now, if you're an Avid enthusiast, you know that PCI Express 4.0 is available on the new AMD systems. So why does this matter to you? Well, one of the cool things that came with Nvidia's 30 series launch this year included a sneak peek into direct storage from Microsoft. This is where they're gonna allow you to take your storage from your M.2 NVMe card and directly transfer information to your graphics card. So what this means is faster load times, less waiting, and more performance generally uh, when playing giant games with huge download times and huge load times. So what that means is a huge reduction of load times for games that are getting larger and larger with even bigger assets as we move into 4K gaming and 1440p gaming being the norm. The question shouldn't be, will my 3080 run on PCI Express 3.0? The question should be, should I still be gaming and building platforms around PCI Express 3.0 today? This is really important to us as enthusiasts because the speed in which you can transfer the data from your M.2 storage drive to your graphics card is going to be limited by your PCI Express bandwidth. A PCI Express 4.0 can transfer about just shy of 8,000 megabytes per second directly to your graphics card. PCI Express 3.0 is only capable of transferring just under 4,000 megabytes per second. So the way PCI Express works is that you've got different lanes assigned. Most computer hardware only has 24 lanes to work with. Your graphics card is going to use up 16 and your storage drives use four. The four PCI lanes being used by your storage device can use on PCI Express 3 around 4,000 megabytes per second at their top speed. Most of the PCI Express 3.0 cards are only capable of transferring up to about 3,500 megabytes per second as a maximum. But as we're seeing new cards coming out, like the Samsung 980 Pro, uh, we're seeing speeds up to 7,000 megabytes per second or higher, as long as you have a computer that has PCI Express 4.0. Now, while direct storage is not generally gonna be supported on games, probably for many years to come, uh, there are some games that we'll start to see, big AAA titles, Games like Cyberpunk 2077, we should start seeing some implementation of direct storage in the coming one to two years. And it's going to be slow and a general progress, but if you build a platform today on PCI Express 3.0, you're guaranteeing the need for you to upgrade to PCI Express 4.0 if you want to take full advantage of some of the faster hard drives that will be available. You know, but we need to slow our roll for just a minute because the reality is PCI Express 5.0 is going to come out within about two years. PCI 5.0 is going to be double the speed of PCI Express 4. So we're going to see an increase on PCI Express 4 from about 8,000 megabytes per second to 16,000 megabytes per second. This is a huge gain in speed and we're going to see hard drives that are keeping up. We're going to see new hardware that pushes it even further. And if we go e even two to three years after PCI Express 5.0, we're going to see PCI Express 6.0, which is already in development today and could see release by as early as 2023. So what does this all mean? Should you scrap your PCI Express 3.0 system and go buy a brand new PCI Express 4.0 system on the AMD Zen 3 platform? Well, not necessarily. All of today's graphics cards and any of our current modern PCI Express 3.0 M.2 drives are perfectly capable of running and loading any games that are modern today and probably any games that'll be modern in the next two to three years. If you're planning on buying a 30 series graphics card from Nvidia, you can be rest assured that PCI Express 3 is going to last you until you decide to upgrade to two to three generations from now. So you don't need to abandon ship and jump onto PCI Express 4.0. That being said, there are some hard drives coming out now that are available that can transfer greater speeds. 
So if you are working a lot in video editing, working a lot with uh, photos and other types of heavy workloads that require fast hard drive speeds, uh, PCI Express 4.0 is probably a better choice for you. My recommendation if you were buying a computer brand new today would be go with AMD Zen 3 and PCI Express 4.0. That's gonna get you the best future-proof system that will probably last you as a platform for the next five or six years. If you were to go out and build a system around a 10900K today, you're already putting in a limiting factor being with PCIX 3.0. Now, the average person's not gonna notice these speed differences. Um, the average game load times don't really have that big of an improvement. Your hard drives that can transfer 7,000 megabytes per second are really focused on larger file transfers. So if you're dealing with a lot of smaller file transfers or game load times, you're actually not gonna see that much of a performance difference between PCI Express 3 and PCI Express 4. So if you want the latest and greatest today, then for sure go out, order a Zen 3 November 5th when they're available, get yourself an X570 motherboard, and build a system that's gonna be able to have the fastest, latest and greatest M.2 storage drives. But you're gonna pay a premium for that. If you already have a computer system that's PCI Express 3.0, it's perfectly capable of running everything today and probably everything for the next three to five years. So there's no reason to rush out and upgrade now. If you are looking at buying a new system today, PCI Express 4.0 should be a factor in your decision making. Going to an Intel platform today is gonna cost you an entire generational jump from PCI Express 3 to PCI Express 4. You know, on the other hand, you've got the AM4 chipset, which is going to be retired uh, when Zen 4 comes out. And so, you know, even if you were to purchase a brand new AM4 motherboard today with PCI Express 4.0, you're still going to be in a position where the next generation of AMD CPUs that come out won't be compatible with your motherboard. You know, that's the funny thing with technology. There's always something new on the horizon. There's always the next thing that's coming. And no matter what you buy today, it's going to be obsolete tomorrow. So at the end of the day, buy what you want. Pick a motherboard that fits your visual style and appeal, and pick a storage drive that's gonna hold all of your games and actually be able to hold everything that you wanna store. I think it'll be really interesting to see how the new Zen 3 CPUs perform with a 3080 and a 3090 on PCI Express 4 versus their 10900K counterparts. There's some really interesting things happening, and as soon as I can get my hands on a 3080 or 3090, I can start playing with some of these things and start testing. Um, right now, the most frustrating thing is, is that none of us can get parts. Uh, almost every component that you need for a computer right now is either on back order uh, or hard to get. So waiting for next year to build a new computer may not be such a bad idea because nothing's in stock. Power supplies are hard to get, RAM's hard to get. Um, it's kind of to the point where if you're a computer enthusiast, it's very challenging in this environment because of COVID and border restrictions and restrictions on shipping. So PCI Express 4 or PCI Express 3? The question isn't, does your 3080 run on PCI Express 3? It's, do you want to be able to take advantage of some of the storage speeds of PCI Express 4 down the road as games start enabling direct storage from Microsoft? Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. You know, it doesn't seem to matter how many times I look behind my spatulas. I, I can't find a 3080. How does Jensen do it?